Hey, it's Sonia from Just Women's Business and today I want to show you how you can use the tab key to edit really quickly in Canva. Just click on something, hit your tab key and as you hit it, it goes to every element on your page. Super easy. Plus, I'll show you how to use the position tool key with the range and layer features. So without further ado, let's go. Today we're going to learn how to use the tab key to move from element to element easily in Canva. So in your design, just click on something and I'll hit the text box. And if I hit my tab, it'll go to the next text. Then it'll go to read now. It's gone to the rectangle, then to the rectangle behind read now, to the laptop, to the bottom rectangle, top rectangle, then the text your amazing header and if you keep clicking it'll just repeat and go on a loop back to the original thing we clicked on in the beginning um, but just say you want to add a graphic like a glitter design and as soon as you add it it's covering sort of quite a lot of the parts of your design so what you can do is just go to position and go backwards and keep hitting backwards until it goes but then it's gone behind the white and I actually like it to go in front so I'll pull it forward again whoops <laughs> go backwards and that's better I went the wrong way so that's sort of another way to help you um, use the the position key as well um, it won't go on to it won't go behind the black part of this design because if you hit position and go backwards it goes behind the white but then it turns into like opaque so it means it can't go any further backwards and the reason being is that if I move this rectangle the black part of this design actually is the original color on the very first part of the design and then the these text boxes have been added on top so that's sometimes why if you can't get something to go behind something it's because it's at the end it, like actually it's probably a confusing way of saying it but if you go to layers um, it's showing you that the black at the bottom was actually the very first layer. So layers is another way of using um, your um, way to move elements around. So if you click on something, it'll highlight what you want to edit. Like if you, um, the text, so once it's highlighted, you can type. So um, your blog here, um, that could be another way of using um, a to get to your elements that is highlighting that website um, wording and that's that one um, so that's another way to get around it um, but if you can move these elements so just say I, I've got the white square highlighted if I click it above the laptop it's going to go in front of the laptop if I go underneath the laptop it'll hide underneath the rectangle so that's another way to sort of um, get into each individual element but I actually like this glitter so that one is actually not even in the layer option so I'll go to arrange and that I whoops I want to bring forward so that that's sort of um, if you can't get to it through the layers then go to the position option and go to the arrange um, and just one other tip when you have um, like icons that you've popped on or um, elements or graphics sometimes when you move across something like um, an image um, this is a laptop I'll just delete the image it's got a photo placement card so when you drag across it it wants to snap it in so I'll just um, pop the photo back and one way to do it is if you're holding it just don't let go. Um, another way is to hit your shift key and the arrow key of the item. So we get shift and arrow and as you arrow across it won't go and actually I think it's behind it so I'll position it forward and arrow across. Oop. Click on it again. Sometimes it gets a bit glitchy. Click on it and it won't snap in. So that's another way of using your shift and arrow keys to manoeuvre elements so you can do that to shift and arrow and shift and arrow but um, 
there's quite a few ways to edit sort of quickly without getting confused at where each item is on your design. So I hope that's helped you um, edit your templates quicker in Canva.